and away they go. Ravenscraig Castle slowly out of the gates then for the Skybet handicap, this heritage handicap over a mile and a half worth £120,000 in the pot on the wide outside. Savvy Knight broke well for Danny Tudhope. Little trio racing wider apart from them includes Capital Theory and Toshizu as well. On the inside, Paradis running a bit free out in front is the overall leader though. Leads by about four lengths at this stage. Pink Jacket, Mr Curiosity handy and Tinzo the Grey is next. And then comes Bag Door in the terracotta jacket with the black cap on the outside capital theory in the middle of the pack as well on the outside there that's Wooten Sun and Paul Hannigan the red and black colours there on his final ride here on the inside then comes the grey Ravens Craig Castle who's recovered well the raw runner educator behind with Mahaba the champ together there with Dark Moon Rising at the rear of the field they're about to head past the seven furlong marker over on the far side of the course with a good 10 12 lengths perhaps between first and last and it's Paradias and Ross Ryan the leaders from on the outside Savvy Knight and Danny Tudhope close up in third Mr Curiosity for David Allen with Capital Theory on the outer for Andrea Atsini Holly next on the grey and Tinzo followed on the inside by Bagdor and then getting a little bit closer on the outside Paul Hannigan in the red jacket on board Wooten Sun Ravens Craig Castle next to the rail, Toshi Zoo next, Educator, and then Dartmoon rising on the rail, balance play, couldn't see him early on, he's out towards the rear, being chivied along a bit now, Mahaba the champ will whip them in as they straighten up now for the judge. Half a mile left to travel here in the Skybet handicap, down the home straight, Paradias out in front then from Mr Curiosity, on the outside in third then is Savvy Knight, in Tinso's under a bit of a drive in fourth, Capital Theory, Legendary Day, Wooten Sun is trying hard under Paul Hannigan, on the outside he's got a lot to do though for that fairy tale ending they're coming inside the final two and a half furlongs now Paradias maintaining this gallop edging across towards the far rail but he's clear by about two and a half lengths in second still Mr Curiosity on the wide outside is legendary day nothing much else staying on with the exception perhaps of Dark Moon Rising and Mahaba the champ ahead of him they're racing inside the final furlong it's all about the change and Mahaba the champ and Ryan Moore have come from a mile back here to take this. Mahaba the champ goes on to win from Bagdor in second. A good comeback. Legendary day. Then Paradias, followed by Mr. Curiosity. Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup of 2023 lined up and away they go. Nate the Great emerged out of the stalls first. Racing wider. Quickthorn in the hands of Tom Markon. Tom having a look across there. Up the inside there, the fully river of stars in the black jacket. And interesting that Tom Markon in no great hurry to cut across, but now he does so as they go past the judge with a circuit to go. It's Quickthorn who establishes the lead. River of Stars and Nate the Great just ahead of Coltrane in fourth place with Giovalotto on the inside of Broom and Courage Monami in the hands of Frankie de Tori. The Gold Cup winner is held up in last place, about uh, seven lengths behind the speed as they move across towards the far side of the Knavesmire here so Quickthorn who was a revelation 12 months ago in this they never laid a glove on him he leads by just over a length then to River of Stars in second place with close up on the outside Nate the Great and his stable companion Coltrane on the inner in the green and white hoops Broom is next ahead then of Giovalotto the Yorkshire Cup winner and the Ascot Gold Cup winner, Courage Monami, in last place. Going across towards the far side, past the, the Dante Stakes start, the Jumbon International start then. Just under a mile and a quarter left to travel here in this Group 2 Lonsdale. And still Quickthorn being held together in front, though, by Tom Marcon. He's certainly not going flat out at this stage. They're racing down the far side now towards the final mile of the contest, approaching the halfway point of the race. River of Stars racing two lengths down in second place. Nate the Great and G Coltrane together with uh, Giovalotto on the inside of Broom. Giovalotto a little bit keen early on, but he's travelling quite comfortably and still at the back of the field, uh, detached by a couple of lates. Courage Mon Ami in the hands of Frankie de Tori as they move past the seven furlong marker now. Probably eight lengths would cover the field. And Quickthorn still looking very comfortable on the front end as they go towards the final three quarters of a mile here. River of Stars and Ross Ryan not allowing Tom Arcond too much rope. They're keeping tabs on this leader. 
Coltrane on the rail. Nate the Great on the outside. Giovalotto travelling well uh, behind with Broom last but one and Courage Monami in last place. They're about to turn in and face up then towards the home straight with four and a half furlongs to run in the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale Cup. Quickthorn the leader as they come down the home straight. Now River of Stars is being squeezed along in second as Quickthorn maintains his, his relentless gallop out in front. He still leads by two. River of Stars are responding. Coltrane now goes into chase mode into third place. Courage Monami and Giovalotto are trying to get on terms. Broom is making heavy weather of trying to pick up these leaders and I'm afraid Nate the Great has been pulled up. Let's hope he's all right. Down towards the final two furlongs here and it's Coltrane that strikes the front down the centre of the course with a narrow advantage now from the pursuing Giovalotto and Courage Monami on the outside. On the inside River of Stars has run her race. They're coming up inside the final furlong. Coltrane all out here for Oshin Murphy. Courage Monami me on the outside making no impression and Coltrane this model of consistency goes on to win the Lonsdale Cup won it from Courage Monami Giovalotto and then River of Stars ahead of Broom and Quickthorn faded and was last to finish and uh, off and racing for the Albasti Equiworld Dubai Jim Crack Stakes this Group 2 event this historic Group 2 event down the straight six here on the Knavesmire Action Point began best in the grey jacket right up there with him though is Power Mode on the near side Halla Emirati in the white jacket on the far side green colours of Empress Sun right in the leading quartet as well they're being chased up by Hartem in the lighter green sleeves and cap Killian is right to the fore so too Johannes Brahms on the left on the far side Kings Gamble in the grey at the back of the field Lake Forest being chivied along so to Yahangir, who's well in touch. Only about four lengths would cover them as they pass the halfway point in the gym crack. Still down the centre, action point taken on now by Halla Emirati running a massive race. Over on the far side, Kings Gamble's trying to get into it. Killian is now shaken up behind runners. Johannes Brahms coming under a drive. So too on the near side is Lake Forest. It six in with a chance in the gym crack. Then as they approach the final furlong and it's Lake Forest who comes storming through on the near side, just carrying Johannes Brahms out to the left to touch. Kings Gamble is back in third. Lake Forest and Tom Marcon though, driven out towards the line, take the gym crack from Johannes Brahms in second Kings Gamble two or three lengths away then to action point together behind these uh, with uh, Halla Emirati and away they go Cardem the blindfold whipped off at the last minute and will be held up here for the Coolmore Wooden Bassett Nunthorpe Stakes Group 1 live in the dream pink jacket over on the far side off to a good start Highfield Princess in that far side group as well Macker over there and Regional down the near side that's the two year old Big Evs leading a little cluster there leading from Equality right up next to the rail then is Aesop's Fables Bradsell is just behind the leading pack with Dramatised Tea Spirit and Twilight Calls buried away by Frankie over on the far side still living the dream showing a lot of pace from Highfield Princess and Queen Me coming there with Makarova. Regional's under a bit of pressure. Bradsell's coming into the race quite stylishly. They're already down to the final furlong here. Spread across the track. Living the dream. A real trailblazer. He's awash with sweat but by golly he's flying. They're all queuing up behind though. Highfield Princess beginning to gather herself. Can they get to live in the dream? And Sean Curran looks like it's going to be an all the way win and a surprise at that Unthorpe. Living the dream wins it from Highfield Princess. Bradsell tied there with Makarova and Regional for the minor placings. Cardem on their heels, never nearer. And off and racing. For the Assured Data Protection EBF Phillies Handicap, Heritage Handicap over 10.5 furlongs, £100,000 in the pot, prenup began well and Serona is trying to go with her although you just get the impression Ryan Moore is trying to get her to switch off she's very keen in second Ammon Zoe settled better who's wider in the pink colours and then Sisyphus Strength red with the sheepskin nose man racing close up behind there together with No Nay Nicky and right behind them and also restrained as well is Roea Andrea Atsini just trying to get her to relax a touch she's alongside Reach who's settled well for Joe Mason aiming high in the pink gap next and last is youngest in the hands of Holly Doyle as the runners sweep past the seven furlong marker over on the far side looks like a generous pace here ten lengths between first and last being set by prenup 
and Harry Davis as they move down towards the turn down the side of the course here. Amon Zoe, last year's runner-up, is in second, just ahead of Serona on the inside rail in third. She's just beginning to relax a bit now. And then Nona Nikki, the yellow jacket, fourth ahead there of the red Sisyphus strength. Reach has just got a little bit closer for Joanna Mason on the outside. Rowea is now behind on the inner for Andrea Atzini, aiming high and youngest of the last two. Down the home straight they come, passing the four marker now. Not much to report just yet, but you suspect that one or two of them are travelling better than the others because ridden along prenup to maintain this advantage. He does quicken up, though, but Nona Nikki is getting into the race in some style on the outside of the yellow jacket. Amon Zoe squeezed along between them. Up the inside rail, then Serona is rallying for Ryan Moore. Look at Reach, though, jumping into the race on the outside in the black jacket for Joe Mason. Uh, right behind them, then, trying to stay on is aiming high. They're up towards the final furlong and a half, and Reach has struck the front here and she's going clear chasing hard Sisyphus Strength's got two legs to find inside the final furlong reach from Sisyphus Strength who's eating into that lead now it's down to three quarters of a length reach all out Sisyphus Strength reach just held on by a neck from Sisyphus Strength back in third prenup and aiming high stayed on for fourth and they're off Racing away. Kings Valley just darted out to the right then from his outside draw and is just being shuffled along early on for this British EBF 40th anniversary convivial maiden. The richest maiden in the land here with £100,000 in the pot. Ever driven is amongst the first uh, two here together with on the inside Thanks Forever. Right behind them the favourite red jacket is Under the Sun. On the inside then is in the blue and yellow spots, that's Castle in the Sand, Battle Cry alongside him uh, there as well. Zane Blue's got a good position, just chasing up the leading six or seven or so. On the outside is Al Wassel in the white jacket. On the inside, the white cap there of Volterra. Stable companion Sisyphus is next with Kings Valley on the outside, flanked by the Easterby runners. On the inside there is Bulma Bank and just driven along is Spirit of Aklam. I'm afraid that one is tailing off. Peace Walk is the one that doesn't seem to be going the gallop. They're racing down the home straight now, down to the walls of final. Two and a half furlongs here. Just in front, thanks forever. Taken on now by Battle Cry on the inside there. Ryan getting into top gear. On the outside, under the sun is driven hard, but not picking up. Uh, behind them on the inside, Zane Blue is making some late progress. Sisyphus down the centre is trying to get on terms as well. But inside the final furlong they come. And Battle Cry and Ryan Moore just ahead of thanks forever and Jason. And Hart inside the final 100 yards running on Volterra behind them Battle Pry goes on to win the Convivial Maiden Aidan O'Brien's first win in the race Zane Blue just second on the far side Volterra and then thanks forever in fourth and off and racing and Taffrey's didn't make the best start. He's just dwelt as the stalls are open then. He's going to be held up here the Skybet Mile Handicap, Heritage Handicap uh, for £100,000 in the pot, and Bayesian Bandit is the first to begin. On the outside, also quite keen to get on with it, is Finn's Charm, Restrained Silver Sword, wider than to Glen Finnan. Close up behind them on the inside is Al Zahir in the red jacket, disputing fourth place. Then Modesty on the outside of English Oak has just been buffeted around a touch there. On the inside of him is Power of Gold. Catch the paddy next to the rail. Taff Reed is next. And Dear My Friend whips them in as they come round towards the home straight now. So about six or seven lengths between them. Fairly well bunch field then as they come down the home straight. On the inside then it's Bayesian Bandit. On the outside, Finn's Charm in the green jacket for Andrea Atzini. Just poised to strike behind is Glenn Finn of Oshin Murphy, just to getting a little bit closer now. And then Al Zahir on the inner of Silver Sword, the great, just looking for a bit of room there is Greg Chain, just manoeuvres to the inside. Behind them is Power of Gold in the blue and maroon colours. On the outside, Modesty is hanging, trying to make a run. Taff Reach behind them, but quite a bit on. Up the inside, Catch the Paddy is trying to launch a challenge as well. A lot of chances, but Silver Sword is the one that bursts through, approaching the final furlong and has taken a couple of lengths out of them. Taff Reach is getting going, but, but maybe too late. Catch the Paddy's battling on Bravely on the far side. It's Silver Sword here. Catch the Paddy bearing down, but Silver Sword does enough for a great chain and Dylan Kuna. Tight for second. Catch the Paddy and Bayesian Bandit with Taff Reach close up behind in fourth.